Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? This is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin here. I'm um, out here in Costa Rica. And I just, you know, it's so interesting. Today I had a, I had an interview. I had a podcast I had to attend. Um, I was the um, speaker for that podcast, talking to over 2 million people. And I didn't realize how many people don't really understand how to visualize effectively. Okay, so I said, you know what? Why don't I... Because, guys, you know I'm always talking about these mind hacks. Like, seriously, these million-dollar mind hacks really gave me the juicy life that you see here today. I mean, I'm out in Costa Rica. You know, we're having a great time out here. And I want to share this with the world. And I want to talk about how I specifically do this, right? How I'm able to create my world very quickly. Now, understand this. I'm talking about millionaire mind hacks, okay? Um... And you can always get more of these mind hacks, the one I'm about to talk to you about today. You can get this on my website at WesleyVirgin.com, and it's free, okay? It's free. It's free stuff. Um, and those mind hacks that's on my website are the exact mind hacks how I brought in about a million dollars five years ago, okay? So check it out. Um, it's a bee down here. Oh, my God. I don't like bees. I don't like bees. I don't. You know, yesterday it was a scorpion in my room. Yeah, I freaked out a bit. It was all good. I wonder did I manifest that. <laughs> so, I want you guys to pay attention. Feel free to share or like this video. Because, you know what? When I was on that podcast, I was talking to about 2 million people. Um, I realized that it's a, it's a huge part of the world that do not understand the power of the mind. I think everybody understands on a very conscious standpoint as far as that they can manifest things or that their mind is powerful, but I don't think we understand it on a very deep level, okay, on how this is really real. I was talking to a very successful guy. He has built several online companies. He's doing very well, and he has a huge podcast, and I was talking with him and his people, and I just figured out that um, even himself, he don't really understand how it works. Everybody loves it, but I don't, no one understands it. So I want to talk about my day. I'm going to talk about what I did this morning, how I strategically visualize and create the life. Like every car that I have, I have seven cars right now worth about a million plus. I, I manifested those cars, all the homes, the real estate properties, my, my development companies. I manifested that as well. And it's not because I'm smart. Trust me, it's not because I'm intelligent. You can ask me about numbers in my business. I might not know. You can ask me about where my property is located, I have no idea. I don't know where they are, and I have ne I've never seen a lot of the properties that were built for me. But um, this power of visualization really does it for me. So, if you guys want me to do that right now, just hit the like button. Say yes, Wesley. Let's go. Let's go. Motivated, dedicated. Okay. So I got to do that on every video. That's my thing. Let's go. All right. Now check it out. So. Oh, guys, you want to see my daughter real quick? Hold on. Baby, say hi. Say hello, way, baby. I got about five million people watching right now, baby. That's my baby right there. That's my Y right there. We're going to have fun. We're going to the beach in a second. Daddy got to do a video real quickly. Okay, so check this out. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, now understand this. Many of you, if you follow me, your brain is in um different type of states of mind you have alpha state you have beta state you have theta state and you have delta okay alpha is when you wake up and you're not thinking about nothing that's when your brain cycles actually slow down okay i gotta get away from this v real quickly here uh beta state is what we're doing right now like you're looking at me you're looking at these palm trees you're looking at my daughter she's kicking the ball around right and we're having a blast um, that's when your mind is going fast, right? Alpha state is when you're able to create better, okay? So you ever had like an aha moment when you were doing something and you was like, oh, I got it. But it's alpha state. Or when you're doing or working on a project and your creativity is at a high, right? Then all of a sudden that problem that you have for a week or a month, wow, it comes to you. Okay, that's an alpha state. So the thing is, write this down. You always want to be in alpha state, especially when you're working or when you're working on projects or you're working on your business ideal. So when I wake up, and in the morning is the best time to do this. When you wake up in the morning, 
your brain is in alpha state. That's when when you wake up, you're like, ah, ah, right? I know some of you guys have sex with your, um, your significant other. But <laughs> uh, when I woke up this morning, right, my brain was slowed down. I'm not thinking about the past and I'm not thinking about the future, which means is I'm not thinking about things I got to do and I'm not thinking about the things I didn't do. Make sense? I mean, what is called pure consciousness. Now, get this. I want you to listen to me. This is powerful. It's called pure consciousness. When you're in pure consciousness at that at that time, you're able to visualize or create your reality. Now, if you're a brand new person, now, the first thing you need to do is to be able to clear your mind. And the problem is this. When you're trying to clear your mind, thoughts are just bombarding your mind. You're thinking about everything, right? When you're doing this for the first time. Let me share this with you. When you're attempting to meditate or visualize, when you wake up, let those thoughts come. Just relax, okay? Relax for like five minutes and focus on your breathing, okay? For beginners, because I know a lot of you are beginners. Focus on your breathing. Like if you want your mind to clear, because the big issue with a lot of people is they say, well, Wesley, I keep thinking about all these thoughts and, and I don't want to think about these thoughts, right? Well, just focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Even when you take a breath like that, your brain starts to go into what is called alpha state, okay? Because you're relaxing the body. See, most people don't even breathe effectively. I talk about breathing and how to breathe better. It's called deep breathing. I talk about that on my website as well. Um, do this right now while you're watching me. Take a deep breath. Now, how does that feel? You feel relaxed, right? What do you think about right now? Nothing. You just relax, all right? This is powerful stuff. That's why smokers love to smoke. It's not because of the nicotine. It's because they're breathing properly, right? The problem is they're putting damaging, destructive substances in their body. But when you breathe deeply, the body actually starts to heal itself. It starts to relax. Now it gives you the opportunity to create your world. Because when you wake up and when you spend five minutes working on your breathing now it's time to visualize okay now here's the juicy part now you want to visualize now right now you hear the waves right so guess what say of you for instance say if you want to take a vacation to Bora Bora I'm just going to give an example you want to take a vacation to Bora Bora you have no money you work eight to five you don't know how you're going to take you and your family to Bora Bora so what you do is when you wake up what you do is you picture yourself in Bora Bora you might say, well, Wesley, I don't know how Bor Bor looks like because I've never been there. Well, that's why you have the internet. You get images. You see how Bor Bor, Bor looks. And then when you close your eyes, you imagine and you picture yourself on the beaches. Now, this is what they don't talk about. Not only do you picture yourself on the beaches, you have to use your five senses. You have to feel the sand between your toes. Right now, this is grass. I feel the grass on the beach between my toes. I can hear, listen, senses. I can hear the waves crashing against the rocks. Now, am I making sense? Because what's important when you're visualizing, you have to make it real, okay? You have to make it real. Like right now, it's so funny because like what I'm experiencing right now, I visualized just a couple of years ago. I did when I was a newbie at this visualization stuff, but I can do it very quickly now. But see, can you hear the waves crashing against the rocks? Can you feel the sand between your toes? Can you hear the birds flying over your villa? Can you hear your children in the background running on the beach, right? So when you're visualizing and when you're picturing where you wanna be, it's important to use your five senses. Why? Because we use our five senses experience our outer world am I making sense we use our five senses to interpret and and to perceptualize reality okay make sense to smell you can say you know what maybe I smell the five-star restaurant as they're cooking and preparing the food in my villa right now right 
I can see all the amazing people that are laying out on the beach, looking at the waters, laughing, sharing their stories. I can hear the guys, the rich people that are telling me about their businesses and we're talking about how successful we are. So during my visualization, I am not only picturing this, I'm using all of my senses to make that experience real in the now. Put this below, write this below folks. This is called pure consciousness. See, a lot of you, when you try to meditate, you say, well, Wesley, I'm trying to visualize, but I don't feel it. Well, when you use your five senses, you start to feel it. Like right now, I can do an example, okay? All of you got a dream car, right? My dream car used to be a Lamborghini. You know what I used to do when I was driving a 1988 Honda Accord? Well, I used to close my eyes in, in the morning and I would see myself driving my brand new black Huracan Lamborghini. It was black, black interior, gold rims. And when I would get in there, I can feel the leather on my soft, beautiful skin. It was so plush. And I can hear the sound of the exhaust. Woo, woo, wow. So when I can hear that sound, I was like, oh man, that feels good. And I can feel the wind going across my face because I like to have the windows down because I want people to see me. When I spend $225,000 on a car, I want somebody to see me. Can I get an amen? Okay, so people are seeing that they have their cameras out taking pictures and saying, man, that's an amazing car. Man, I love your car. Whoa, that's good. So I'm seeing this doing my visualization. Okay, you got it? You, you get it, me guys? I did that for a very long time, right? And using my senses allowed everything to become real, okay? So when I was laying in my bed, I was laying in the air mattress at that time. When I was on that air mattress, man, I thought I was driving a brand new Lamborghini. I felt that way, I felt good. So when I would come out of that meditation, I was like, oh my God, man, I got a Lamborghini now. I felt like I had the experience. The best way for me to describe this, kids or children do this very well. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been a child before? Like, have you ever been a little kid? A little kid? Of course you have, right? So what happened and how did you feel when it was the day before Christmas, right? The day before Christmas, how did you feel the night before? You're like, well, I was in expectation. You're like, oh, oh I'm going to get an Xbox. I'm going to get a PlayStation. I'm going to get a Nintendo. I'm going to get this. Oh, my God. It's going to be amazing. Right? You remember that feeling? That feeling is powerful. See, a child, a child already does this, right? But unfortunately, adults, they tell children to stop dreaming and stop daydreaming. But they need to do this. This is very important. Because when a child is expecting something, he's not only expecting he or she is feeling that. He can feel, and it feels like he already has that brand new bike, and he feels this for months. He said, hey, mom, can I get a bike for Christmas? He says, yeah, okay, great. So now that child is imagining himself on the bike. He's a, she's imagining herself with the Xbox, the PlayStation, right, the video games. So that feeling that that child is experiencing makes it real, and that's why Usually the children always get it, okay? Even when the parents can't afford it, see? It's the child that's manifesting that experience. Now, he don't understand this. He's just doing what's natural. Like, he doesn't have the Xbox yet, right? He doesn't have the bike yet. He didn't get the Nintendo game yet. But he is feeling that he has already have it in the present. Well, that's how we visualize. And another thing I do, I do it at night, okay? Guys, if this is making perfect sense, hit the like button and please share this out to somebody now because guess what? Come here. People need to know this, especially children, teenagers. They need to understand how this works because I want people to know this is real. This is the truth. Now, check this out. Um, at night, at night is a better, another great time to do this. Why? Because your mind starts to come down. Now, I know some of you, your mind is racing at night because you're thinking about the things you got to do and the things that you didn't complete. Can I get an amen? Of course. Well, after your mind stops thinking or to help your mind calm down, all you need to do is what? Focus on the breathing. Because understand this. Believe it or not, your mind cannot think about two things at the same time. Like right now, you can't think about a bad experience and a good experience 
at the same time. If you don't believe me, try to do it. Like, try to think about a bad experience and a good experience at the same time. You cannot. You can only focus on one experience, whether it's good or bad, at one time. So when you're thinking about your breathing, like when you just put your thoughts on breath coming in, breath coming out, that's what your mind is focused on. And if you do that for five minutes after you finish focusing on your breathing, now you can visualize your day. You can visualize your future. You can visualize the car, the house, the new job, the new spouse, the new relationship, the new kids, whatever. Whatever your heart desires, you can do that, okay? So let's recap. Hey guys, if I made perfect sense, just give me a like and say, let's go! <laughs> Like if I made sense, because I really want to, guys, I just got finished talking to a couple of million people and all of them were in awe. They didn't understand how this worked and it was entrepreneurs. These are people that have businesses, some are successful and some are not. And they didn't understand really how this visualization process worked. People talk about it, but I don't think anybody on the internet besides myself really explaining in detail. Well, it's one guy by the name of Dr. Joe Dispenza. He, he does explain it well as well. But it's all about using your five senses. You have to use your five senses, okay? Touch, smell, uh, um, visual, auditory, uh, um, your, your hearing, right? Because when you use that, it makes that imagined experience real in your now. And that's called pure consciousness, okay? Any questions for me, folks? <laughs> You guys like that? What's up? Whoa, Rolisa. What's up, Roger? Lloyd, what's up, baby? And remember this, folks. This is why I ask you guys to consider this. Um, if you really want to understand how this works, and the big problem is that majority of entrepreneurs really believe it's that hard work that they're doing to make things happen. And I'm, I'm, I want to share some with you. And I'm sharing this with the world every single day. It's not about the hard work, okay? The problem is you approach many problems or many things that you call challenges with frustration. Anything that has any type of resistance or if you're frustrated, oh, it's hard, I can't figure it out, then you call that hard work. But none of you will call driving a car hard work. None of you will call like riding a bike. Is that hard work? No. Even what you do at your job, it's probably easy for you. Why? Because you've been doing it so long. But in the beginning, it was hard. Why? Because you didn't know how to do it. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we have associated those type of, that type of frustration and we call that hard work. No, it's just, you just don't know how to do it, okay? So don't believe entrepreneurs that just because you're working hard in your business, this is the reason why you're making more money. No, absolutely not. It's not why, okay? You're just doing the right thing, okay? Like me, I could do the right thing over and over again and I'm getting the result. It's not because of my level of effort. Like, I'm, oh, I'm working hard, I'm working hard, I'm working hard. No, it's not the hard work. It's just you're doing the correct thing. Me, I've learned how to do the right thing and pass that over to other people. I delegate, okay? Make sense? So, what I'm trying to get the world, like yourself, and this is what I share at wesleyvirgin.com where you can go right now and get those millionaire mind hacks for free is that you truly can create your world by using your mind, okay? But you have to master your mind. Just like you have mastered anything that you do well in life, you have mastered that through repetition. So I do this, I've been doing this for like five years, so I'm getting pretty good at it, but even now I'm still a student. I'm still doing it over and over. Understand if you keep doing something over and over again, if you're visualizing, meditating, manifesting, relaxing, surrendering to a power that's like uh, to surrendering to a power that's greater than you, then you figure out that your world starts to transform or your reality starts to transform almost on all the pilot, okay? Am I making sense? Questions for me. And yes, guys, you can go to my website right now if you would like to. You don't have to, but the, um, the links are available, okay? I talk about this in deep because you got to map. Uh, anybody that's an entrepreneur, like fuck entrepreneurship, Anybody that truly, truly want to create a better life, listen to me, okay? 
having a better job or having a business doesn't necessarily create a better life. I know a lot of people that own a business and they're depressed. They're upset because they got so much work and they're stressed out because money goes up, money goes down. But what's important is how do you want to live your life day to day? And what's very important is how do I want to feel once I'm in that business or um, how do I want to feel day to day? Do I want to spend more time with my children? Do I want to travel the world? Do I want to drive fast cars? Do I want to shop all the time? Do I want to feed the homeless? Do I want to open up a dog shelter? I don't know. That's what you got to figure out. And you have to learn to disconnect. That's another thing. And I want everybody to put this below. This is important for the um, visualization and manifestation process to work. You got to surrender. Okay? You got to surrender. Sur See, I learned this from Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. You have to surrender because if you're worrying about something, if you're thinking, oh, is it going to work? Oh, is it going to happen? Or when is it going to happen? Well, that's not having faith. That's not believing that whatever you want for your life is going to actually transpire. So when you surrender, that means you're no long longer consciously thinking about that thing. You're just letting it go, right? You got to pay a bill. Well, and instead of you visualize that everything's going to work out, it's going to be great. Well, you got to just leave that. You got to like not think about that thing because you thinking about how that bill is going to get paid. It's not going to pay the bill. It's not going to fix your life. It's not going to help you find a husband or a wife. You got to put it out there in the universe. You got to visualize that reality every day as if that your mind cannot tell the difference. Okay. Once you surrender, surrender says that I surrender to something that's more powerful to me. And let me share some with you. And it's not about believing in God. If you believe in God, that's great. But it's not about, oh, I believe in God, Buddha, and these other. Understand this, the same life force. You see this right here? This is called a tree, okay? This is called a tree. So the same life force that actually grows a tree is the life force or the universal force that's able to manifest your future. Now understand this. For us to plant a tree, all we do is, as human beings, we take seeds, we put them in the ground, we water it, we take care of it, right? But who creates that? Like, who did all that, right? Who created that trunk? Who created the roots? Who created those leaves? Like, I didn't do that. I had two seeds. I had seeds, I put it there, and something that we call God, the universe, the energy, uh, it's so many names we call it, right? But it's something that is more powerful and it's, it's almost unexplainable that we cannot touch, that we can't even, that we're not aware of with our five senses. It's beyond our awareness that allows that tree to become a tree. Human beings don't create trees, okay? We don't do that. We just put the seeds in the ground. So that same seed that you're putting in the ground is the seed that you're putting in you, okay? It's the same seed that you're putting in you. And that's why when you start to meditate and visualize, that's like you putting a seed. But you can't wake up out of meditation or visualization and just because your life hasn't changed doesn't mean it's not working, all right? Like when we're building a, I mean, folks, the thing is when we're uh, planting a tree, we're not going out there tomorrow and saying, hey, where's the tree? No, we're smarter than that. Well, you have to be smart and intelligent to understand that if you spend 15 years or 10 years of thinking in a very negative way, or if you spend 10 years doing it the wrong way, it's going to take some time for you to plant new roots and new seeds for you to manifest a better future. Okay? Makes sense. I love you guys. I love you. Let's go! <laughs> I'm just out here teaching, guys, because I got love for you. I got love for the entire world. I have love for the entire world. That's why I do this for you, because I want you to understand, whether you believe me or not, but if you're listening to me, that you truly can have the best life ever, that you can have a problem-free life, that you don't have to be frustrated, irritated, or bitter, or upset about anything. You can actually live the happiest life on the planet, and I do. And I'm teaching my children to do this, right? I'm teaching my children how to live the most juicy life. And the great thing about it, they're around me all the time, so they are absorbing and they're assimilating my habits every single day, and I'm grateful to God about that. And I'm grateful to you that you'll sit here and watch a video like this. But understand this. Watch me. You got to take action. Listen, you have to take action. 
okay? Without action, none of this will ever be real. Like this video will be just um, useless if you don't do something about it. You know, I know in the beginning when you start to meditate and visualize, you're gonna think it's not working. That's just your subconscious mind, okay? That's that mind that's saying, this is not working. What are you doing? Go do something, go work, go read, go study, go do this. No. You're starting to reprogram your mind. I can really get deep right now, but I'm gonna let you guys go to my website, wesleyvirgin.com and grab all this information. It's for free. I have over 200 hours of information just like this. I've created, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. So far, I've created two millionaires that I know personally that have, by using my stuff and actually taking action, they are millionaires now. I have several people that are making six figures a year that once were making nine, ten dollars an hour. All that tells me that I'm more effective in my delivery on how I'm trying to explain this. Because I understand once I explain it in a way that you get it, you get results and you're going to do it. Right? Once I explain it in a way that you get it and it clicks, you're going to go to your bedroom, right? Get up, go to your bedroom. Like I'm like, <laughs> right after this video, I'm going to go lay down, okay? I'm going to go sit up in my bed. I'm going to put my headphones on. That's another thing. Always have headphones. And I'm going to meditate. And I'm going to visualize. Because, see, when you do it, so, God, this is how I made a million bucks in 30 days. Because for three times a day, 45 minutes each, I was thinking and visualizing myself as if I was already in that new reality. I was already, like, living that life in my mind. So my body started to act as if and everything outside of me i start to recognize listen i start to recognize and i was very aware of the opportunities that i thought wasn't there see it's not like this is not magic folks like right now it's opportunities that are right in front of you but you don't have enough sensory acuity to see it yet makes sense you just can't see it, but it's right there in front of you but when you start to meditate relax the body visualize that same thing that was always in front of you, then bam, woo, you see it, okay? Any questions for me before I let you guys go? Remember, if you don't mind, somebody can somebody put wesleyvirgin.com below because I'm out on the beach. My babies, they're ready for me to take them to the beach um, across the way, so I'm not able to do it. So if you don't mind, put the website below because I want to give that to you as a gift because I appreciate you, and I'll leave a link somewhere around here that you can click it and immediately take action towards designing a better life like I'm doing it I'm grateful I mean all praises to the most high I'm grateful to God I'm grateful to the universe I'm grateful to people around the world every day like every day I am always in this mode of gratitude you know that's why I shared also with those two million people I said uh, you know I'm grateful that I even have the opportunity to speak to two million people I'm grateful that people really um, are starting to wake up and understand that this information it's truly real. This is not myth. I mean, you have millions of people that are actually doing what I'm talking about right here, okay? But unfortunately, the Western civilization, many European countries, they don't really understand it. Like the Eastern civilizations such as India, um, Bali, Indonesia, I've been to all those countries. They really understand this on a very deep level. And you will too as well, okay? So any question? I know the sun is on me, huh? The sun is on my face. All praises to the Most High. Oh, mm, all praises to the Most High. I mean, the sun, you know why the sun is good to be on your face? Because that's how you grow, baby. That's how the tree grow. That's how you grow. All praises to the Most High. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Woo! All praises to the, I can feel the glory. I can feel the money. I can feel the wealth. I can feel the people, the gratitude, the love. All praises to the most high. Man, the sun is shining on my face right now. That's why I'm always so excited about life. Woo! Let's go. Hey, guys. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember, uh, somebody put WesleyVirgin.com. Thank you, Miss Pillow. Hey, I love you, Lily. I love you, Queen. I love you, Case. I love you, Steve. Thank you for sharing and liking this video. Thank you, Ben, for sharing and liking this video. Thank you, Romeo, for sharing and liking this video. Thank you, Roger, for sharing and liking this video right now. Thank you, Sonia, for sharing and liking this video. Now, thank you, um, uh, Quinn, for sharing and liking this video. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Alexa, for sharing and liking this video 
right now. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Much love. This is Wesley. Billion dollar version. Let's go. Later. <laughs>